So this is how my portfolio looks like. Meron siyang four categories. So the first category is yung low risk and low return investments. Tapos meron ako moderate risk and moderate return investments. Meron din ako high risk and high return investments. And meron ako speculative investments. So ito yung mga investments na can go to zero anytime. Okay? So in this video, let's break down ano ba tong mga investments that I have in my portfolio. Hi guys, Tupelo here and welcome to my channel. So in this channel, yung goal natin is ma-experience yung Lodi lifestyle wherein you'll be living on dividends and interest. So yeah, ngayon let me show you my portfolio. So I've been getting this comment na, Lodi, portfolio reveal naman, okay? So it's been a while since I monitored my investments kasi long-term investor naman tayo, di ba? So I don't really closely monitor them. And then I realized, oh nga no, why not, di ba? So ngayon, let me show you my portfolio. So the first part in my investments are the low risk and low returns na mga investments. So dito papasok yung mga digital banks, tapos yung mga pooled funds. And so far in my portfolio, uh, I have 5.88% in digital banks. So sa digital banks naman, uh, what I have is uh, meron ako uh, Como, meron ako Maya, and meron din ako uh, C-Bank. Okay? So so far, uh, I'm not using Tonic anymore, I'm not using CIMB, tapos wala na rin yung favorite, yung dati kong favorite na ING. So, so far, uh, I'm putting my money in Como, uh, Maya, and C-Bank, okay? Tapos, sa pooled funds naman, dito yung papasok yung mga mutual funds, okay? So, mutual funds, tapos yung uh, G-Invest na, I think they are called UITFs, okay? So, sa pooled funds, I have Soldivo Fund, uh, meron akong First Metro na mutual fund, meron din akong Phil Equity Fund, and then yung G-Invest na na fund din, okay? So, ito yung mga low risk, low return investments ko. Now, if you're interested about digital banks and mga pooled funds like mutual funds, so I have a link in the description below. You can check those video uh, out then if you want to learn more about these uh, low risk and low return investments. Tapos, next uh, type of investments that I have, meron tayong mga moderate risk and moderate return investments. So, I have investments in the Philippine stock exchange, okay? And so far, I have 7.84% in my uh, Philippine stock market na investments. Tapos, I'm also shocked na, kasi yun nga, I've reviewed yung, yung portfolio ko, na shock ako na medyo malaki na din pala yung cooperative na, na, na savings ko, okay? So, I consider this uh, moderate risk because again, Philippine stock market go up and down for cooperative naman. Uh, wala kang habol if in case masara yung cooperative, di ba? So, sa cooperative kasi meron akong, uh, meron akong business na Yung, yung kita doon, okay? Yung kita doon, part of it na pupunta diretso sa cooperative. So, parang I really don't monitor it and nasyak ako na <laughs> medyo malaki na pala din siya na part sa portfolio ko. Okay? So, these are my moderate and moderate return investments. So, for the Philippine stock market, yung mga investments ko doon. Again, by the way, guys, uh, itong mga investments ko, these are just mine, ha? So, make sure you do your own research. Huwag kang mag-invest ako kasi nag-invest din si Pilo doon. So, huwag ganun, okay? Do your own research okay so 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 for the pse meron ako mga reits like uh, a reit the dmpr uh, robinsons and philinvest okay tapos uh, i also have yung favorite ko yung spc okay salcon power and of course jollibee meron tayo yan for cooperative naman this is um dun sa business okay so this is a business tapos i nilagay ko dun sa cooperative nila kasi meron din silang cooperative eh. Tapos, next naman na investments that I have, ito na. Okay? Ito na yung mga high-risk, high-return investments. For the high-risk investments naman, meron akong crowdfunding na fund pala. Okay? Crowdfunding na investment. So, uh, very minimal lang kasi parang I test it out and tapos I forgot about it. It's 0.39% sa portfolio ko. Tapos, meron tayong mga investments in foreign stocks. Okay? Foreign stocks and global stocks. And of course, yung favorite ko din, cryptocurrency. Okay, so ito yung portfolio. It is the percentage sa portfolio ko. 0.39% sa crowdfunding. Sa foreign naman, 11.76%. And crypto, 15.69% uh, sa crypto portfolio ko. Okay? So sa crowdfunding, uh, I haven't created a video about this one kasi, again, parang nakalimutan ko na siya. But I invested in yung Seedin. Okay, Seedin. It's a mobile app or meron din ng website wherein uh, pwede kang pwede kang makapag-invest sa mga different companies and you do it through crowdfunding. Okay, so it's very high risk okay? kasi posible na uh, magsara yung mga, mga investments mo or what. Okay, for foreign naman or global stocks, so uh, high risk din siya because like again, the, the global stock market, especially yung mga tech companies, very volatile. Okay, very volatile. So, so foreign, uh, unfortunately, 
yung, yung ginawa ko dati is yung mga global stocks ko, I converted them into cryptocurrency. And right now, I'm currently rebuilding yung, yung foreign, uh, yung global global portfolio ko. So in my global portfolio, again, disclaimer, ha? Um, this is not financial advice. So I had like Tesla. Okay, so I have Tesla. Uh, ano ba ba? Yung, yung, ano ba yun? Yung Pfizer. Okay, Pfizer. And AT&T. Okay, so they're uh, the biggest uh, telecom in, in the US. Okay, and meron na tayong REITs doon. So uh, AGNC and Main Capital. Okay, so yun yung mga global stocks ko. And then for crypto naman, uh, of course, uh, meron tayong favorite, yung crypto.com. Okay, so CRO or right now they rebranded to Kronos. So yun yung um, majority of my holdings nasa Kronos. I have Bitcoin, we have uh, Binance Smart Chain, BNB, and... Meron tayong OMI, okay, or Ecomi. So, tapos, ano pa ba? Meron tayong engine. So, these are gaming, gaming na, gaming na mga crypto. And meron din tayong Katecoin. Okay, meron tayong Katecoin. And, ano pa ba? So, tapos meron tayong mga Kronos token, like uh, Tectonic. Meron tayong VVS. Meron tayong uh, Single Finance. So, medyo madami yung crypto, crypto tokens na I am investing. Okay, so yeah, these are my high risk investments. And lastly, you must speculative investments go. Now, before I proceed, if you're enjoying and learning from this video, then make sure to hit that like button for the YouTube algorithm and click naman the subscribe button if you haven't already. And if you want to start your passive income journey with me, visit my website freedomlabph.com. Again, that's freedomlabph.com. And I hope to see you there. Okay, so now let's go back to my portfolio. So for my speculative investments naman, so ito na, ito na sila. So uh, by the way, ito mga speculative investments, so this kind of funny because like parang negligible lang talaga yung nilagay ko na pera, okay? So it's just like parang test out, tapos ayun nga, parang they just blew up and right now majority of my portfolio, okay? Kapag i-add ko to sila, they're even way, way bigger than yung mga investments ko, okay? But basically, ito mga investments ito, they can actually like go to zero anytime, okay? So speculative investments, meron yung mga shit coins, okay? So basically, they, they are still cryptocurrency, but parang, ayun nga, shit coins, okay? So that's actually 3.92% of my portfolio. Meron tayong mga NFTs, okay? Meron tayong NFTs, it's a gaming NFT. Uh, dito yung Rise of Cats, okay? Rise of Cats, we're in... Uh, you you can play a game tapos ito mga mga pusa na ito or mga NFTs na to you can actually sell them and uh, make decent income so actually i calculated yung value nila and ito yung value and na shock na medyo malaki din pala 7.84% and meron din tayong mga NFTs in VV okay so they they are like premium licensed digital collectibles like Star Wars um, Batman meron Superman okay and na shock ako cause the value just went up to 23.53% of my portfolio so how crazy is that and then again uh, remember ha na parang very little lang yung nilagay ko. I mean, like, very little lang talaga. They just really blew up. Okay? So, ito yung example of NFTs para meron kayong idea. So, this is like, this is VV uh, NFT. So, meron tayong mga, meron tayong mga Star Wars na collectible. And meron silang augmented reality because of in the future, ano tawag nito? Um, in the future, di ba, meron ng metaverse. Uh, I'm so excited na pwede ko itong magamit itong mga lightsaber in the meta metaverse. So, these are like speculative investments lang talaga, mga alternative investments. And then, same thing sa Vivi din, they have like digital comics. So, I have uh, some digital comics na I've also invested in. And lastly, ito yung, ito yung mga NFTs ko in yung sa Rise of Cats. So it's a play-to-earn game and so far, uh, very profitable naman siya. But then again, it could go to zero anytime. So yeah, uh, these are my cats. Um, medyo madami na rin yung mga pusa na I've invested in. And so far, yung value niya nag-shoot up talaga. So meron niya akong actually NFTs in Axie Infinity but parang medyo lugi um, lugi yung sa Axie. Malaki yung lugi ko doon sa Axie Infinity and hindi ko nakinaunt dito sa portfolio ko. So to summarize, this is how the portfolio looks like. So meron tayong digital banks, pooled funds, PSE, cooperative, crowdfunding, foreign global stocks, NFTs in VV, NFTs in uh, Rise of Cats, shitcoins, and crypto. And by the way, if you're interested to learn all of this, uh, mga investments ko, so you can find all the links in the description below. So we have videos all about NFTs, uh, yung Rise of Cats, play to earn games, meron tayong videos about crypto, pooled funds, digital banks, so almost all of the investments I've invested in, uh, meron tayong videos niya. 
Tapos, if we if we categorize them all together, so ganito, this is how it looks like. So, yung low risk investments ko, 13.3%. Yung moderate risk investments ko, 23.5%. Yung high risk investments ko, 27.3%. And speculative investments, 35.3%. So, ang laki, no? So, ang laki. But then again, I realized na this one, pwede natin i-remove. Because again, malit lang yung in-invest ko dito. So, we can just remove this one. And ito na yung portfolio ko talaga na I've really invested money in. So, low risk investment, 20%, 20.6%. Moderate risk investment, 36.4%. At yung high risk investment ko at 43%. Which, when I when I, when I I did a monitoring of my investments, nasyak ako kasi yung goal ko, again, personal goal ko lang to is uh, parang 33% rule. So, 33% in low risk investments, 33% in moderate risk investments, and 33% in risk high risk investment. And so far, um, at least hindi naman ganun ka imbalance yung portfolio ko. So this is how my portfolio looks like. Okay, so yeah, that's it. That's my portfolio.